Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your morning market update for Wednesday, June 29th. Stocks on Wall Street are off to a strong start, following their best performance since April yesterday. It's a similar story in Europe, after Greece's parliament approved $112 billion in new austerity measures and asset sales needed to secure more funding from the European Union and International Monetary Fund. Another vote on legislation to implement the plan is set for tomorrow. That would clear the way for finance ministers to release the next payment of 12 billion euros to the struggling nation next week. The news is also boosting the euro against other major currencies, including the dollar. And the dollar's decline is helping commodities to solid gains. Crude oil is now trading close to $94 a barrel after its biggest one-day rally in six weeks yesterday. And gold is rising further above the $1,500 an ounce mark. One of the best performing sectors of the U.S. market this morning is banking, thanks to the settlement of a major lawsuit. Bank of America agreed to pay $8.5 billion to mortgage investors, including money manager BlackRock, insurer MetLife, and the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. They claimed that mortgage-backed securities they bought from Countrywide Financial before the banking crisis were full of lousy mortgages. Countrywide, which was acquired by Bank of America in 2008, allegedly deceived the investors about the quality of the debt and the collateral behind it. As part of the deal, B of A will also set aside another $5 billion against future claims. It's the biggest settlement of its kind ever, and it will lead to a big loss on the company's balance sheet in the current quarter. But Bank of America shares are surging on the news, up 3% right now. Other financial stocks are coming along for the ride. Citigroup is gaining nearly 3%, while Wells, Fargo, and J.P. Morgan Chase are up nearly 2 percent. Two food-related companies may also get some investor attention today. General Mills raised its quarterly dividend and reported a 51 percent gain in its fiscal fourth quarter profit. The rise was due mainly to an increase in prices for its cereals and other products. But the results missed expectations, as it did its earnings outlook for the full year. General Mills has been trying to pass some of its higher commodity costs along to consumers, but consumers have responded by turning to more generic brands amid a sluggish economic recovery. Right now, shares of General Mills are losing more than 1 percent, but Monsanto is jumping more than 4 percent after reporting a 77 percent increase in quarterly profit. Revenue numbers also topped estimates on higher seed sales in the United States and Latin America. Following the report, Monsanto raised its earnings outlook for the full year. Another big stock gainer in early trading is BJ's Wholesale Club, surging nearly 5 percent right now. The retailer agreed to a $2.8 billion buyout from a group including private equity firms Leonard Green & Partners and CVC Capital. The price tag represents a 6.6 percent premium above the stock's closing price yesterday, but it's below the level that BJ's shares reached last month after the joint bid was disclosed. And finally, we have some news from the world's biggest retailer to tell you about. Walmart will lower prices at its Murphy USA and Walmart gas stations by 10 cents a gallon for the next three months. The company said it's responding to the squeeze on its customers from higher fuel prices. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day.